good day and welcome to Harbor Highlights. On today's show, we have information about the first adventure school trip. We also have the fall schedule for culture works classes. This and more, so stay tuned. Hi, I'm Tyler. And I'm Sam. Culture Works classes start this week, but there are still a few spots left. Many West Ottawa students have participated in Culture Works classes and really have grown their skills from this group. If you like drawing, painting, writing, photography, or acting, listen to these students tell you why this might be a club for you. Today, we are here with Carmen to talk about Culture Works. What classes are offered for middle schoolers this fall? Eighth graders only can take an improv acting class, creative writing, and illustration. Fine art printmaking, sixth through eighth graders can take animal and acrylics or into digital photography. When and how should kids sign up? Kids can sign up this week by going to the website on the screen or by going to the student center in the office and picking up this flyer. Why would you encourage someone to try out a culture works class? Um, I would encourage someone to try out a culture works class so they can um, try out new hobbies and find things that they like to do out of school. Thank you for letting us talk to you about culture works. I hope some of you sign up for these awesome classes. The classes start this week, so register as soon as possible. The recommended cost is $200 for the semester, but they are just asking for you to pay what you can afford. And, uh, transportation is available if needed. Go to the Culture Works website for all the information. Last week, we told you about Calling All Colors, and they are going on a field trip October 9th, and the permission slip needs to be turned in by this Thursday for you to go on the trip. Calling All Colors have another meeting this Wednesday. If you missed the first one and are still interested, talk to Ms. Morales. Now over to this week's general announcements. Hi, I'm Megan. And I'm Elizabeth. Here are this week's lunch specials. Monday, Southern Barbecue Bowl. Tuesday, Chicken Baking Grinder. Wednesday is Corn Dog with Beans. Thursday is Chicken and Cheese Quesadilla with Refried Beans. And Friday is Grilled Cheese with Soup. The Indian Club will meet for the first time today, Monday, after school in the library. Make sure you have a ride home at 325. We hope some 8th graders were able to meet with Miss Anotai about book club. If you missed it, I'm sure you can talk to her and find out more about this club of people who love to read great books. Here's another exciting opportunity for all students at Harbor Lights and Mac Bay who, are not only, who not only love to read, but who like to preview books before they are even on the shelf. BBYA Best Books for Young Adults, which is starting its 18th year, is a wonderful group led by our wonderful librarian, Cindy Dobros and Lynn Rutan. BBYA meets about twice a month, alternating from Harbor Lights and Mac Bay. The informational meetings are this week, Tuesday at Harbor Lights and Mac Wednesday at Mac Bay. You can go to either meeting. This club meets from 3 to 4, so make sure you have a ride at 4. If you are doing a sport right now, I'm sure they would still love to have you join. Go to the library for the information sheet and a Google Classroom code. Last week we told you about Adventure School. The first trip is coming up soon, so here are some students with that information. Hi, I'm Gia. I'm here to interview Mr. Becker about the first Adventure School trip. What is the first Adventure School trip and when is it? The first Adventure School trip is an outing to Crane's Orchards. It's Friday, October 12th. We will be going after school 
at about 3.15 and returning to school at 7.15. How many students are allowed to go and how do they sign up? We are going to take 18 students to Crane's Orchard. It's a first return their permission slips in with the money are the first ones to go. They will get the permission slips from their 8th grade English teacher and return them to Mrs. Harrington. 7th grade students get their permission slips from their 7th grade science teacher and return them to Mr. Hardy. What is the cost to attend the trip? The cost is $3 and that helps us pay for the cost of Crane's Orchard and our transportation costs. What activities will students do at Crane's Orchard? Students at Crane's Orchard will have the opportunity to navigate the corn maze. And then we're going to go to the orchard and do a little bit of yew picking. Uh, when we get back to Harbor Lights, we have a cookout of hot dogs. And we'll have some chips and veggies and fruits and some beverage for them to drink. it would be a great outing. Uh, many students have never been to an apple orchard or been through the corn maze, so it should be a lot of fun and exciting times for students. Why should students sign up for this trip? Students should sign up for this trip for a variety of experiences. One is being to an actual apple orchard, um, being able to pick apples. Many students have never picked an apple off a tree. There is a technique to it. Um, it's just going to be a really great opportunity for students. And one of our great uh, goals for Adventure School is for students to make a new friend. And this provides an outstanding opportunity for that to occur. We hope students really take advantage of this and they would sign up with Mrs. Harrington or Mr. Mr. Hardy. Um, we look forward to having students go on this adventure with us. Thanks, Mr. Brecker, for letting us interview you, and we hope that you guys don't miss out for this fun opportunity. Remember the spots are limited. If you don't get a spot on this trip, hopefully you can join us on the next one. We only have a few more weeks left of our fall season sports. Now over to this week's games. I'm Jess. And I'm Raylan. The 7th grade football teams play Byron Center and the 8th graders are challenging Grand Haven. Both are at home. Here are the games for girls volleyball. Tuesday, the white team is against Valley Wood and the black team is at Jenison. Both are away. Thursday, the white team is against Holland Middle and the black team is against Pinewood. Both are at home. The, co the cross country team has their last home meet Tuesday and Friday. They are running at Granville. The soccer teams only have one game this week on Thursday at home against Bryan Center. Finally, for girls tennis on Tuesday, the white team will match up against Rockford East. Thursday, the, the white team is away against Holland Middle. Good luck in this week's games, and now back to the This week Wednesday is College Apparel Day, so make sure to support your favorite college by wearing their colors, shirts, or sweatshirts. Next week, we will tell you about College Application Month and why we start talking about it even now in middle school. There may even be some prizes for students supporting their college apparel. Thanks for watching our show, and don't forget that every day is a new day and an opportunity to make it happen. See you next week. Bye! Bye.